Hey everybody, it is Charney Unicorn here and I am on my way to a dating meetup social thingy at a restaurant near me in Toronto. I've been excited about this for about a month now. Online dating is tough. I mean, it's tough. You get excited about a profile and there's so many ways that it just falls off the edge of a cliff. And so they all either just not show up to the date or you'll get excited about them and then you'll meet them in real life and there's no chemistry or they wear too much cologne or whatever. And so I've really decided lately that the swiping, the investing of time into these, you know, people behind a, a profile is not for me anymore. It's just not really working right now. And so I've decided to pause that for now and try an in-person social meetup as a way of networking in this non-monogamous or at least sex positive lifestyle. So that's my peeps, right? If I'm gonna date somebody, if I'm gonna have a new friends with benefits or something, I'm gonna want the people who vibe with me in this lifestyle. People who are non-judgmenting, non-judgmenting, non-judgmental about sex, uh, people who are respectful of others and uh, sex positive. So I'm on my way there. Luckily, I've got a great crew of ladies with me. Uh, Miss Amelia Peekaboo and Curly Vixen are gonna be there. You know, they went last time, I missed it last time. They had a great time and I want to go and just network. I don't even care if I headed off with anybody romantically. If that happened, great. I'm looking to have networking, see if I can make new friends, new, you know, energies. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of my goal. And I'm on my way now, I'm a little nervous because bunch of people. Um, I'm going to be Sarah tonight, not Toronto Unicorn. I'm wearing my Toronto Unicorn because we're kind of one in the same, but I'm not leading with my Toronto Unicorn. I'm not going to be talking about my channel very much tonight, hopefully. I'm going to be talking about, hey, like, what do you like to do for fun? Like, what kind of weed do you smoke? Like, um, yeah, I, I just think I want to vibe with people. So I will uh, report back on how this goes. I haven't had this much Maybe a little, I'm not that nervous, but it's like a little jittery energy in me that I'm feeling. And I'm pretty stoned. And when I'm stoned on weed, I don't normally get this weird feeling. So you must, I must be nervous. Is that what that is? Is that what that is? I don't know. I think I'm a little nervous. Anyways, uh, let's, uh, let's go before I change my mind and uh, this vlog goes nowhere. <laughs> really cool, colorful houses if that house is i guess such a beautiful street so it turns out my friends are a little fucking delayed uh, at a restaurant and i uh, had a hot minute where i was like oh should i wait for them and uh, then i was like no fuck no i have to go in and be a little social butterfly even on my own because this is a networking event <sighs> so here i go i'll be alone for the first bit i don't give a fuck let's go Some of the people I have seen at the sex club and uh, basically I liked their vibe, I liked talking to them, I think I want to talk to them more. Um, I did meet a few fans here, it wasn't the point of the event though, so I was uh, I was kind of trying to be undercover a bit. Um, but yeah, no, I think it was good, I will come to the next one. I like the vibe of people around all being part of the same kind of lifestyle. So if you're like flirting with somebody, you're not going to find out later that they're not sex positive, right? Like that's that's kind of the reason I came. Um, yeah, so Curly was here. She had fun too. Peekaboo is currently exchanging phone numbers with somebody. Uh, one of the things I liked is that me and Curly both uh, technically liked the same kind of vibe with some people. And so he's like, hey, can you just get your number from her? I'm like, yeah, sure. That doesn't happen in Manila world where we're like, hey, my friend got your phone number. Can I get it too? Yeah. So yeah, so we'll see what's up from this night, but it was pretty fun, right? Yeah. All right, thanks. What did you Thank not you. like about it? 
too loud, too much blah, 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 and music. So when you're like, hi, what's your name? Like, if it's a social mixer, I would prefer almost no music or very low music. How about you? Uh, I agree. I think it was a little unorganized, like the name tags, yeah. the jackets, like just like there's not enough space. Um, but yeah. other than that, I thought it was good. And I would have loved to do a structured activity. I almost wanted to take a bunch of people outside and do the intrusive question game just to get to know people. All right, Miss Peekaboo, how was your night? Well, it started off really slow. Again, I'm like that shy high school girl, you know, don't really want to talk to anybody, but I had my girl, so we were just chilling and sitting, and I love people watching, so that was all good. And then I spotted the guy that I saw last time that I had my eyes on, Mr. Blue Eyes. So I spotted him like across the room and I kind of stood up and looked at him and I thought he looked at me. And then Amelia and I stood up and we both looked at them. And then him and his now I know wife looked at me and they smiled and they waved and I was like, hey, he knows that I'm, he remembers me. So eventually he didn't make his way over, but a different guy who was at their group made, their, made his way over to me. And he was like, I said, oh, where's your other friend, this other guy? And he's like, oh, he's not here tonight. And then I was like, oh, but Blue Eyes is here. I'd love to talk to Blue Eyes. And he was like, oh, okay. And he went and got Blue Eyes. So Blue Eyes and I ended up making out, feeling each other up, talking about what we might be able to arrange. And then I got a sandwich between the one guy and the other guy. So that was fun. I was just like, woo. And they were both like kind of doing this and do, oh, just wow. so much. Yeah, these ladies were outside, so they didn't see that. but. My night just ended really, really well. You can take really the girl well. out of the sex club, but you don't take the sex club out of the girl. Fucking like, right, man. Fucking right. Oh my really. God. Yeah, that was awesome. I was like, that was my thought. I was like, because they were standing and kind of talking over me because I'm short, right? And they're both like right. up here. So then I kind of went, oh, and I pulled them in together. And I was like, oh, this is horrible. This is, this is disgusting. I can't believe this is happening to me. <laughs> what is happening here? Ugh. Come closer. And then, yeah. So that was really good. And then I met as the uh, <clears throat> Alanis Morissette says, the song says, his beautiful wife, mm -hmm. but uh, isn't it ironic? <laughs> but his wife is tall and beautiful and very friendly. So, and gave me a hug and asked if I enjoyed my sandwich. Nice. <laughs> so it was all good. Yeah. Nice. I think this, this place is what you make of it. If you are nervous to talk to new people, like even I am, you will not have the same night as if you get a little bit of bravery, step outside your comfort zone and try to be uh, respectful and have a good conversation with somebody. So if you can practice up those skills, this is the kind of night where you'll thrive. I love how many people's energies I fucking met tonight because mm -hmm. it's different than a profile and an app. It's people you remember how you felt around them. Did I enjoy it? Was I uncomfortable? Was I bored? And then you basically decide if you want to hang out with them again. So, and I might have also made a connection with somebody who I get to do an impact scene with. So, you know, that's always fun. Right. Always so this fun. was a pretty good fucking night. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you.